What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. So last night at Sony's amazing and very, very impressive E3 conference, a lot of games were announced, and a lot of games nobody expected. Two for sure that I had no idea were going to be announced was the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I did a reaction video that I think everybody needs to see. Another game they announced immediately after the Final Fantasy VII Remake was Shenmue 3, which goes back to my teen years uh, when I was a young man playing video games and really, really getting into the, the art and the beauty of video gaming. Sony knocked it out of the park last night. I really have nothing more to say about E3 other than that. Microsoft did a fantastic job, and I was wondering how Sony could come back and actually beat Microsoft. But I feel like after the first 20, 25 minutes, Sony had already done that. And that's just me being honest. I own an Xbox One and PlayStation 4, so I'm not being a fan. I'm just telling you guys that the hits were much harder on Sony's side, and it really, really amazed me. Anyway, Shenmue 3 is an older game, about 15 years old, and it's really, really popular to old heads like myself being 35. And so when I heard this news last night of them starting a Kickstarter campaign to release Shenmue 3 on the PlayStation 4 and PC, it really blew my mind. And you guys can see that in the reaction video. It's actually, as soon as I get done with this video here, I'm going to go ahead over to Kickstart, uh, Kickstarter and pledge some money to this development because I believe in things like this. But more amazing news about Shin Yu. I'm not the only nut in the world who loves video games and loves older games and wants to see great franchises reborn on new hardware. Shinmu 3 has already reached $1 million on Kickstarter, and it's the second fastest $1 million in Kickstarter history. This article is on CNET.com. Shinmu 3 hits $1 million on Kickstarter faster than any other game. In less than two hours, Shenmue 3, which went live on Kickstarter at 6.51 p.m. Monday, reached the $1 million mark on the crowdfunding site. That's faster than any other game and second fastest for any Kickstarter campaign, which is totally amazing. Shenmue 3 speed comes in only behind Smartwatch Pebble Time, which reached the $1 million mark in just 49 minutes and ahead of Reaper Miniature Bones 2 in around two and a half hours. It also soared ahead of Banjo-Kazooie's spiritual successor, Ukulele. The video game launched on Kickstarter just last month, hitting $1 million at around the six-hour mark. Shenmue 3, which was announced during Sony's presentation at E3's uh, conference this year, is seeking a minimum of $2 million in funding, which developer WiseNet said would go toward creating the game in collaboration with fans. The series, first published in 1999, by Sega combines action, adventure, and role-playing. Set in Japan, the storyline focuses on a young man trying to avenge his father's murder. And it's amazing. If you guys have not played Shinmue, I implore you to go get an old Dreamcast or an old Xbox. I think Shinmue 2 was on the Xbox, but I played them on, on the Dreamcast. It was just a really amazing game. The story was insane. Fully voice acted by every character in the game. Uh, they had arcades, motorcycles. Uh, fighting everywhere. It was really amazing and uh, I actually play it from time to time. Unfortunately, the controls of the old game don't translate well into 2015 because when this game came out, uh, analog sticks didn't exist and so everything was done through the digital D-pad and uh, it just doesn't really translate well into video gaming today. So I'm really excited about Shenmue 3. I love the old franchise. Uh, it brought a tear to my eye watching it yesterday. Sony really really hit me with two gut punches back to back. I'm sure I'm sure you guys have already seen those videos. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and show some support by hitting that thumbs up. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.